start on the body. Nice body. Open. Then you'll also want to open the skeleton that comes with this. Guides. Oh, in case you're wondering, I hit Control A to select all because I have a Windows system. But you can come over here and hit select all. So Control A. Copy. And paste. Alright, now come back over here. We hit View. Now the body. Okay, so you want to get your base color again? Layer. And by the looks of it, the second color would be this one. Alright, so here comes, oh whoops, here comes the hard part. The chest. It's a very awkward place for putting things. Okay, so you'll notice right here that there's the dark brown fur and it's on the part of the neck that really is um, difficult to get on this area. This is the very front of the chest where it's between your legs. This area right here is between your front legs on your character. This starts right behind your front legs. And this area here is all the space in between. It's very, very difficult sometimes to mess with, so you'll just have to experiment with how you put things if you want to have an underbelly. But for this one, it seems that it only starts here, so it will be too difficult to do this time.
now that we finished that, we're gonna go on to this color. This, oh wait. The color. Now for the feet. These are the toes. Okay. This is the paw pad. This, just this area here, that's the ankle. Okay. And over here, this is the back ankle. And I'm not exactly sure why it's detached from here. But say if you draw here, but you don't draw there, there would be a very large gap between the paw and the leg. This is actually just part of the leg, and here is the back end.
Okay, so here's our progress so far. And that looks pretty alright to me. Doesn't look like I got anything off. However, that is looking a little blank down there. Okay, we'll go and fix that. Alright, so this is where it gets kind of complicated with the underbelly. Because that part right there and beneath the arm is a very oh, difficult place to reach. Okay. It's this little area here. Right here. Also, if you'll notice, this little place here with a line break, this is where the arm starts. So all the way there to right here. That's, that's all the arm. And it does the same for the back leg. Okay. But that should have and may have fixed the problem. Take a look. Yeah, I know you suffered, but I don't want you to hide. It's cold and lovers, I won't let you be. Okay, so we're back, and we have indeed fixed the problem. Now the little area behind the armpit is not just flat and blank. You can see it a little bit right here, and if you hit OK, it'll bring you to this default map where you can flip over and you can see it better. See? Ta-da! And that's why the underbelly is a very awkward thing to paint. Back to Mickey. Next, I think we'll do the eyes because I'm getting kind of creeped out by how odd they look. Okay, so. Once you got this finished, you can hit file. Oh, wait, wait. Before we go, paw pads. Now, in here, it doesn't really define what they look like, but I'd imagine them being this dark brown color here. Okay, so. When it comes to paw pads, it is not that much of a big deal. So what? They're paw pads. Don't worry about it too much. But the ideal brush size, honestly, for most occasions is about 16 or 17. And you always want to use the paint brush. You want to use the paint brush for most presets, unless it's a very sharp looking one. Then you want to use the pencil, because it leaves sharp lines, while the paint brush leaves soft lines. Each broken off area here is one toe, so there's the pop pad. And this little area up here, this is where it reaches down in front of the toe. This is the actual bottom, and this is what comes over so that it mends together and makes your toe look like it's three dimensional. Basically, if you think about it, these lines that they, the references that they give you, they're just like sort of like cutouts. If you were to cut them out and put them together, you could make a wolf, just like it is in the game. Okay. Now I know they don't look the same, but for some reason the front foot is much wider spread apart than the back one. As you can see. It's very odd. Okay, next you want to get your paintbrush and you want to add darker values to it. So that oh. So it looks more, just a, a tad bit more realistic. There we go.
Let's see. That's about right. 